Howdy, and welcome to IDIS 3004. It's the Capstone Thesis Research Seminar. So this is really part one of a two-semester course that helps you write your capstone thesis. And so we'll talk about, I'll record some more videos going forward about what is a capstone thesis, what is uh, interdisciplinary studies, how do you make sure that your thesis is interdisciplinary, and all those kind of things. But really, the videos are just going to be to help you along the, along the way. This is a very self, uh, self-guided, self-directed course, and I'm here more, uh, more as a coach than as a professor. So I'm just here, the way I've run this course in the past, I've taught this course many times in the past, and um, I even taught a version of it at the master's level at Harvard, and I, this is one of my favorite courses to teach. I love working individually with students. I teach it more as like, uh, instead of, we've got 10 students in this course, and instead of one course, I think of it more as like 10 individual um, individual research projects. So I'll be there, you know, doing your independent studies with each one of you, which is why the first assignment is to just schedule a meeting with me. So on the syllabus, there's a link to my scheduling tool. Just go ahead and click that. My availability, I'm very available. Um, I have lots of availability um, Monday through Saturday, so I'm happy to meet six days a week and as late as nine o'clock at night um, on some nights. And um, so I'm very happy to, to sort of work with your schedule, find time to meet. The first meeting will just be, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. So we can really just kind of, I want to hear your ideas. So what are your ideas about your capstone research? What is it that drives you? I think of the capstone thesis as really a bridge. I mean, it's a capstone, right? So it's the, it's the pinnacle of all of your work in undergraduate. And it's also, I think of it as a bridge to whatever career, whatever you're going to do after college. So this should be a way of taking all the things that you've learned, the things that are most important to you and to your research and to your career and your future, and you know, using this as a way to sort of pull all that together and write something that will help you um, going forward. So in the past, I've had some students that were going to grad school, so they wanted to write the, their thesis as a, as a writing sample for their graduate school applications. I've had students who wrote their capstone thesis as a, um, as a grant proposal for some future um, STEM research that they wanted to do. I've had students use it as um, another student who was writing a children's book and used this as a proposal to send out to publishers about her children's book um, that she was writing. Other students have also written similar things in terms of, there's so many different things that you can do. I know that at least one student in this course wants to do a, like a recording project. I've had other students in the past do documentaries. The, the, um, the sky is really the limit on this. So that most students wind up writing a, a standard 16 to 20 page capstone thesis, which is the culmination of all the research and things that they've learned. But, um, but I'm very flexible and happy to work with you and find whatever it is that, um, whatever it is that works most, that works best for you, that makes the most sense for you. So throughout this semester, these five weeks, the semester is only five weeks long, and um, you've got 15% uh, of your grade comes from just regular meetings with me. We're going to meet one-on-one -on -one individually at least three times. You're welcome and encouraged to meet with me as often as you wish. You can schedule meetings with me anytime, but uh, at least those three times. So the first time this week, and then the other times are listed in the syllabus. You're also going to, I'm, I'm organizing you into teams. So there are 10 students in the course, um, splitting up into three different teams. So we'll have teams of three and teams of four. And uh, the idea is that I want you to meet with your peer groups. It's important to build a cohort. This is something that all the other professors at Fitchburg State do as well. It's an important part of the process. Don't want you to think that it's, um, it's not just busy work or something. It's an important part of the process. It's important to have some other students that you are connected with that are going through the same things that you are, that you can share your experiences with, bounce ideas off. There's so many benefits to meeting with the team. So um, organize you into teams. If, you, if there's somebody in the class that you really want to work with and I didn't put you in that team, then just send me an email. We can, we can definitely make adjustments um, as, we, you know, as we're just getting started. Everything else is pretty much in the syllabus as far as what, what needs to be done when and how to go about 
um, you know, getting together. The, the semester ends with a capstone thesis proposal. Proposal is sometimes a misleading term, so I try to avoid that term, but it is, that's what it is. Um, and basically all of the assignments, every single assignment this semester leads up to that. Uh, so all of the different assignments are basically pieces of your capstone thesis proposal. And then basically you're just going to take all these little assignments that you've done throughout the semester, pull them all together into one document that is really going to, it's, it's the launching pad for your capstone thesis. So once that document is finished, then, uh, and if it's where it should be, then it should be clear to me and anybody else who reads it that you are ready to maybe not start writing your thesis, but you're close. You're on the on the tra on track to do that. So if you're taking, I know some of you are enrolled in the 4004 course with me in the summer two session. I've had a lot of students who took the the classes back to back in the summer, and actually I think it works really well. I know some some professors discourage it or caution against it. Certainly, if you've got a lot of other things going on, then that's not the best idea. But uh, there are so many advantages to just sort of diving in. And once you get the momentum, you know, this first semester can really build a lot of momentum in your research and you can really get into it and just be ready to rock and roll for the second semester, which is mostly just writing and revising your capstone thesis or whatever project you're doing. So I think it actually works really well. Again, if you've got lots of other things going on, if you're taking lots of other courses and working full time and have family, then maybe it's not the best idea. But if you have time and space that where you can just focus a lot of time on it this summer, then it makes a lot of sense to put the two courses back to back like that. In any event, like I said, every student's project is different. Every one of you are different and I'm not trying to fit in anybody in any boxes. So I just want to, you know, I look forward to having this first meeting with you in the next few days. So please schedule, schedule the meeting as soon as possible. Um, it's low key, it's low pressure. It's just really kicking out around ideas. I want to hear what your ideas are. If you've got many ideas and you're not sure which to choose, that's great. That's fine. We can, I can help you with that. If you know pretty much what you want to do, then I'll just, you know, I don't want to get in anybody's way, but I'm here to help you guide you through this like a coach, like I said. So again, my name, I don't even know if I said my name, but my name's Dr. Brad Bannon. You can just call me Brad, I prefer that. And uh, I'm really looking forward to getting to know each one of you and to hearing about your projects. I always love, uh, one of the many things I love about this course is that I learn, I learn so much from the students because you're all doing things that are outside of my expertise. My expertise is in Hindu and Christian theology and philosophy. And most of you are probably not doing anything remotely like uh, related to that. And so well, some people sometimes do. But, um, but I learned so much from the experience of working with the students and learning you know, the research that you're doing. So I'm excited about it, and I look forward to meeting each one of you very soon. Please have a look at the syllabus, read through it, schedule a meeting with me, ask me any questions that you have about the syllabus. Uh, but mostly we'll just be meeting to talk about your projects and who, it'd be good in advance of that, think about what it is that you want to study, why it is that you want to study, um, and who are you writing for? Who is the, who is the audience for, for this project? It can't be me. It's not going to be me. Uh, I'm just here as a coach and guide to help you through this. But who is it that you want to speak to? Who are you trying to address? You know, I think that's um, figuring out who your audience is for this paper is really a key part of bringing everything into focus. So you may not know exactly who that is yet. A lot of folks have trouble figuring out who that is. That's okay. That's part of what I'm here for, uh, part of what I'm here to help you figure out. So um, in any event, I look forward to meeting with you soon and uh, answering any questions you have. And um, yeah, it's going to be a good summer, a good semester. And um, yeah, see you soon. Peace out.